Welp, Damian Lillard, you are not a Miami Heat basketball player. You are actually a Milwaukee Buck. As just a little bit ago, the Bucks go all in and trade for Damian Lillard, stealing the rug right underneath the Miami Heat. These are the official trade details. This is the Heat Report. I'm Nick Roloff, and oh boy, we're in shambles over in Heatland. The Bucks get Damian Lillard to pair up with Brooke Lopez, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Chris Middleton, creating a dynamic big four in Milwaukee. The Trailblazers get Drew Holiday, DeAndre Ayton, Tormani Kamara, a rookie out of Dayton. One first round pick, which I'll have more thoughts on in a second, in two pick swaps. The Suns play facilitator, sending DeAndre Ayton to the Blazers. They get Yusuf Nurkic, Nasir Little, Keon Johnson, and Grayson Allen. I'm going to break down this trade more in just a second, but this is why you subscribe to the channel. I covered this Dame trade the best on YouTube, and here, we're coming here to bring you a live show. If you are tuning in the live show, we're also bringing you a video on the Heat situation now that Damian Lillard is not going to be on this team this upcoming year. We got you covered all season long. Hit that sub button. You won't want to miss our coverage throughout this upcoming season. I am in absolute disarray shambles. I have no clue what to think because I said this on our live show, but Pat Riley could have had a chance to trade for Bradley Beal back in June. You could have sent Hero in second round picks to Washington and got that done and added a third score that would have fit perfectly next to Bam and Jimmy. But what did Pat Riley tell us? the Heat fans, the media. We believe Damian Lillard is actually going to request a trade, and when he does, we are going to pounce on that and get our superstar. Well, guess what happened? Damian Lillard did request a trade, and guess what he did? He said he only wants to play for the Miami Heat. And you still fumbled the bag. How does this happen if you are Pat Riley? You are supposed to be a shark. You are supposed to be the man that gets the whale to his team. He has promised a whale. He has always said he will go whale hunting. And if the opportunity presents itself to upgrade the roster in a massive way, he will take that opportunity to swing a massive trade, cutthroat Pat Riley as we used to call him. But what is he doing? Is he sleeping in bed or something? Is he taking a nap? This is, this, this is horrible. I actually have no clue what to think. Because this is the worst case scenario. He goes to the Milwaukee Bucks. If he went to the Raptors and they sent OG Ananubi in three first round picks alongside Grady Dick, sure, I'd understand them. That package right there that the Bu Raptors could have offered is better than what the Bucks offered. And I wouldn't have even been concerned about the Raptors because I still think this Heat team would have been better than a Dame Siakam, Scotty Barnes team in Toronto. But now that Lillard is pairing up with um, Brooke Lopez, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Chris Middleton in Milwaukee, that is not, not that is a four-man crew that is the best four-man team in the NBA. We initially thought the Phoenix Suns, they have a lack of depth was the best team in the NBA, it is no doubt the Milwaukee Bucks, a team that the Heat have had success against over the last four seasons in the postseason. I don't anticipate them having much success now because you have to be concerned about Dame in the backcourt, Giannis attacking you, and then you also have the wing Chris Middleton in the center, Brooke Lopez. I, I really have no clue what to think about how the Heat could sell this trade and let him go to the Milwaukee Bucks. But I want to hear your one-word reaction to the Bucks trading for Damian Lillard. Uh, mine I can't say on air. I, I'll tell you that. I, I cannot say it on air. But my second one word would be shambles for me. Let me know yours in the comments section. Let's look at what the Miami Heat roster is right now. Because it's basically running it back. You're going to likely have Kyle Lowry and Hero in the backcourt starting. You're going to have Jimmy. I think they'll start Caleb Martin at the four. And then Bam Manning the center. Your bench is going to look like Josh Richardson, Nikola Jovic, Jaime Jaquez Jr., Duncan Robinson, Thomas Bryant, Haywood Highsmith, Kevin Love, and Orlando Robinson. I think there are a lot of moves the Heat can still make before the season officially begins and training camp begins next week that we'll get to in a little bit. But my initial thoughts on this is this is a disaster by Pat Riley, and he has failed Heat fans, he failed the Heat roster, and he has certainly failed Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo. 
Today's show could not be made possible without our friends at Prize Picks. They are sponsoring today's Heat Report, and if you love sports, you have to head over to Prize Picks. They're the largest independently owned daily fantasy sports platform in North America and is available to play in 31 states. I've had so much fun testing my, testing my skills during this football season, and now the NBA season is around the corner, I'm even more excited. If you have skills similar to mine, which you probably don't, you can turn $10 into $250 with just a few taps with the most exciting daily fantasy app on the planet. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for first deposit match up to $100. With some of my selections I made for this upcoming season, I have Anthony Edwards more than 26 points per game. I think he averages 30 this year in an MVP caliber season. Paolo Bancaro more than 21.8 points per game. I think he has a nice little sophomore year. And then Bam Adebayo more than 9.3 rebounds per night. I think he finally gets that 10 number and averages double digits with 20 points. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for first deposit match up to $100. One more time, go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and get that first deposit match up to $100. Back to the Dame situation, and when you think of what the Heat could have done, right? Like, what is next for the Miami Heat? They had the entire offseason predicated around acquiring Damian Lillard via trade. You missed out on free agents that would have liked to join your team. Christian Wood, Kelly Oubre Jr., just to name a few that would have joined this Heat team and made a difference to help this Heat team win. But what was the common theme this entire offseason? We are going to wait and not make any roster moves until we have clarity on the Damian Lillard situation. Well, we have clarity now. So I'm starting to like try to process in my head what the Heat could do in order to improve this roster, as there are several roster spots available as we approach training camp that is just a week away. We talked about Buddy Heald on the channel before. I think Buddy could absolutely be a target for this Miami Heat team. And when you think of what Buddy could bring to the table, it is something that would be coveted around the NBA. What Heald has done over the past four seasons for Sacramento and Indiana has been fantastic. He's a durable player that has aver plays more than 70 games a season, averaging more than 15 and a half games per night, shooting 39 point or 39% from three. He is someone that would be an excellent backcourt addition to this Heat team. And if you think about a Heat lineup maybe that you could see if they trade for Buddy Heald, because I think a package could be Duncan Robinson and two second round picks, but a hero Heald, Butler, Love, and Adebayo lineup is very good. And I do think that would be able to compete in the Eastern Conference, but it's hard to imagine having a team to compete with what the Milwaukee Bucks have right now. And you talk about the Milwaukee Bucks, could the Heat re-engage in trade talks with the uh, Portland Trailblazers and get Drew Holiday? I will say this, and even though I am in shambles, a nice plan B for the Heat could be talking with Portland and making this a four-team deal essentially, in getting Drew Holiday from the Portland Trailblazers. It would be objectively hilarious, even I could admit that, if the Heat ended up being a part of a Damian Lillard trade but not did not get Dame. It would be hilarious. Um, but Drew Holiday would be a great addition to this team because he has that two-way ability. He can be the point guard for this Heat team. I, I kind of sneaky do like it, but will it happen? Absolutely not, because how can you even trust anything that Pat Riley's cooking on inside of that head of his? And I got to ask you, do you trust what Pat Riley is doing? Type T for trust, type D for don't. Let me know in the comment section. I will tell you this right now. I used to trust Pat Riley, but I could not back him. I could not support him anymore because this is one of the biggest fumbles in Miami Heat history. They had Damian Lillard in their lap and they could not get into the negotiation room with Joe Cronin to get this done. I'll say this, make sure you subscribe to the Heat Report because I'm bringing you raw reaction, raw analysis from a Miami Heat fan for Miami Heat fans. I'll also be here the entire NBA season doing watch parties, so tap in. I'm in shambles.